October 18th, here at the South Boyer Reef, I found myself 40 feet down, puttering along, following my three buddies' perch, and drifting through the fields of orange and white giant plumose anemones. Suddenly, over the reef edge, I spotted my dive team's bubbles and photo flashes going off. Now, this is a relaxing dive with little to no current, so I was not in a rush to investigate. But when I looked down, I was surprised to see them intently shooting away over top of a lone wolf eel out of its den. The old eel seemed as tranquil as could be, with little concern for the divers, their lights and their flashes. One of the divers, Diane Reed, would later point out this was the same wolf eel she photographed years ago, as it appeared inside the front cover of my book about diving how sound. At the wolf eel's side was its constant companion, the kelp greenling. For years, I have noticed these two together in a relationship that I suspect benefits the kelp greenling. I wonder how many divers over the years have visited and admired this wolf eel. How many divers have returned home to tell friends and family about seeing a wolf eel? And how has this experience and excitement increased the awareness about our oceans? I also wonder if the divers that come here for a casual dive know that the area is also a rockfish conservation area, a conservation area that was created by the placement of a UCBC mooring buoy. Could the key to further protection at other sites be diver mooring buoys? Can we enhance that protection further to create fully no-take zones? We have parks on the land, why not parks under the water?